Hey, welcome to the St. Patrick's Day Facts video for kids, for adults, for anybody, for anybody who wants to learn more about St. Patrick's Day. And it might be St. Patrick's Day today as you're watching it, or maybe it's a different day and you just want to learn. You're in the right place. Kick back, relax, because St. Patrick's Day is just awesome. I mean, a time of great food, right? Everybody's wearing green. And it's a ton of fun! <laughs> uh, wow. <clears throat> okay. As you begin to learn more about St. Patrick's Day, you begin to discover that St. Patrick's Day is a holiday with rich history and deep meaning. And we're going to have to talk about these guys, too. <laughs> Are they part of the rich history and the deep meaning of St. Patrick's Day? No, but, you know, leprechauns, they're fairies. You might not know that. A leprechaun is a fairy. We're going to talk a little bit about leprechauns in this video, too. But they're a part of this whole thing as well. You know, it's all, it's all part of St. Patrick's Day, right? St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in many different countries, but is an official holiday in the Republic of Ireland, in Northern Ireland, which is actually not a part of the Republic of Ireland, but is just north of it and is part of the United Kingdom, in the Canadian provinces of Newfoundland and Labrador, and in the Caribbean island of Montserrat. It's a really small Caribbean island that has a large Irish population, which is why celebrating St. Patrick's Day is so important there. They made it an official holiday. These are the places where it's an official holiday, but as we said, it's celebrated in a lot of different places. For example, while not an official holiday, it is widely celebrated in the USA. Here's a picture of a parade going on in New York celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And this is so fascinating. The first St. Patrick's Day parade was in New York in the 1760s. That was so long ago. That was before the United States of America was even a country, right? How incredible is that when you see this picture of all these people, this parade. Parades have been going on for St. Patrick's Day in the USA for hundreds of years. And they go crazy for St. Patrick's Day in Chicago, too. Did you know, every year, the Kelly River in Chicago is dyed green for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, these canoes are in green water. It's incredible. It's beautiful. And I think it looks yummy. I mean, I would just love to just drink all this green water. I mean, doesn't that look good? Isn't, isn't green a yummy color for water? No? Am I? I I'm the only one, right? Okay. All right, I guess I'm... All right, just me. All right. Speaking of green, green is the color of St. Patrick's Day, but it didn't used to be that way. Prepare to be shocked, amazed, stunned. You might not even believe what you're hearing, but blue used to be St. Patrick's color. In 1798, during the Irish Rebellion, people used green to symbolize their love of country and made the green clover a national symbol. Ever since 1798, St. Patrick's Day has been all about the green, right? <laughs> And everyone seems to love wearing green when they celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Not just this guy with the green beard. Even more. I mean, babies celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Look at this picture of a baby who's celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Wearing that green. Even babies get to enjoy this holiday. Not only that, look at this picture of a dog that got caught wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. This dog is celebrating. St. Patrick's Day. A common way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day is with green clovers. Remember, clovers became a national symbol in 1798 with the Irish Rebellion. Remember, the color green and clovers are symbols of St. Patrick's Day. You can do a craft with green clovers. You can wear green clovers on your clothing. You can draw them. It's a great way to celebrate. 
People also celebrate St. Patrick's Day with great food. A traditional meal is corned beef, potatoes, carrots, and cabbage. All together, a nice hearty meal, lots of meat, lots of yummy vegetables, and it's something that a lot of people like to eat as they celebrate the Irish heritage and St. Patrick's Day. But clovers and corned beef aren't the only symbols associated with St. Patrick's Day. There's also leprechauns, and we promise we talk about leprechauns. Leprechauns are a type of fairy that are found in Irish tales and stories, but they're not fairies like Tinkerbell. They look like little bearded men with a coat and hat. In these Irish tales and stories, they spend their time making and fixing shoes and have a pot of gold hidden at the end of the rainbow. And in these Irish stories, when a leprechaun is caught, he must grant wishes to become free again. Now we mentioned earlier, St. Patrick's Day is a holiday with rich history and deep meaning. It's not just about the color green or clovers or eating corned beef or about leprechauns. The holiday is named after St. Patrick who lived over 1,500 years ago. And he wasn't originally from Ireland. His story is a very dramatic one. When he was only 16 years old, he was taken away from his home in Wales by Irish pirates. For six years, he was away from home before he escaped. Now this is what's amazing. Instead of being angry at the people of Ireland for what happened, he actually had a heart for them and wanted to share his faith and his life with them. So he went back to Ireland to be a blessing and he was able to help so many people in the country that the country of Ireland was never the same. St. Patrick's Day is an amazing time to celebrate Irish culture and traditions, to tell stories about leprechauns, to eat corned beef, and to turn the water of Chicago green. I still think it's yummy. I, I'd still drink that water. It's a holiday that honors the faith of a man who had a heart to bless and love the same people who mistreated him. And it teaches us this lesson, never to let anything stop you from doing what is right. St. Patrick had every excuse not to do what he felt called to do. He was mistreated, he was taken away from his home, but he didn't let anything stop him. And you can live that kind of life too.